This is a video of how I created my tree swing. It was very tricky because I wanted it angled in a way that I could jump into the water. Probably the most engineering I've done since I've graduated college. So yeah, I went to Home Depot, picked up a bunch of wood, stainless steel rods, stainless nuts and bolts. Okay, plans to use this hammer drill. Yeah, it's about 118 bucks. Drill right through here and right through there. Use this level, this water level. You know, that changes. To mark where that went. That's my sample, sample piece. Here we go. So after measuring, uh, next step was to get the hammer drill and use that to drill through the trees. Um, and then once I drilled through the trees, I could put in my stainless steel rods. And this was to create the supports that was gonna house the uh, four by six beam for the actual swing itself. I couldn't just put the four by six beam right into the trees because I wanted it that specific angle you know the trees weren't parallel to the, the the lake so I had to put it at a certain angle so build these supports so I could put that 4x6 beam at the angle that I could I would be able to jump into the uh, the lake with so that was kind of tricky figuring that all out making it all level and then yeah just tying two you know two uh, those are two by sixes um, to create that support and then here's the 4x6 going in now I think I take it off that bolt yeah, so it was kind of heavy, kind of tricky. So I had two people at this point uh, to create that support and was doing measurements like in between. So I would have the four by six hanging out and then I'd mark where I need to drill on the uh, opposite tree. I also, yeah, I created a flat section so it would bolt better. Here I'm putting the uh, swing hardware in. So yeah, for the swing itself, I made sure there was no space in between the trees with the line level or plumb level. And then here's the flexible joint I made. You know, trees swing independently of each other in the wind, so you want a flexible joint. I learned this after uh, joining a treehouse like Facebook group and getting a book from the library on building tree houses. You want flexible joints if you're going in between two trees. So that's what those two two by fours adjoining or next to that four by six is for. So the four by six can slide independently uh, from one tree to the other. The zip ties just to hold it down. I know I used a lot of zip ties there. It looks kind of scary, but uh, yeah, they were more just for aesthetics reasons. This was just so it wouldn't pop out with the wind or anything. Yeah, I learned a lot from this project. Um, you know, just how to drill through trees, um, what to what to do uh, to build supports. There's a lot that went into it. I hope this video can help you because I didn't really find much on YouTube on how to build a swing between two trees. So I think this will give you the foundation, the basics to create this uh, tree swing for yourselves. And you know, all our kids really love it. And I love how high it is. It's like an 11 foot swing. You know, all the swings in the modern day playgrounds are all short, like six footers, eight footers. And I guess it's safe, oh, you but need it's not so fun. This you can get so much speed from, and it's really a thrill to be on. Um, yeah, I got the chain actually from Home Depot. I'll put links in for all the items that I bought. Um, I think the, the, the hinges for the swing came from Amazon, that belt or the seat uh, for the swing also came from Amazon. It's, I got a really good swing. It's like one of those industrial ones you'll find at any playground. Um, it was <laughs> so I did dig a little bit of a trench in the lake um, because the lake is deep, but for, I wanted to make sure wherever I landed, there'd be a good soft cushion. So I dug, I dug a trench and that first jump was a bit scary, but uh, yeah, it worked out really well. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. Anyway, the kids aren't jumping in, maybe in five or ten years. But uh, it's a great swing, nevertheless, and we have a good time with it. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You like swing? And yeah, we're loving like the it? swing, so hope you can build your own swings. Leave us a comment what you think, if you built your own swing, what you got going on. And uh, yeah, what you think the perfect height what? for a swing is. I feel like 13 go feet would be awesome, but 11 is awesome too. Okay, you wanna go faster? Okay guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Okay. Look forward to the, uh, sharing with you guys the next one. Good luck, Godspeed.